All right, guys, welcome to this lesson. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to start playing some island style rhythms. Um, so this rhythm is called a bunch of different names. Um, I think the proper name is the Soka, S-O-C-A. There are many different variations on this rhythm as well. And today I'm going to teach you really the fundamentals of how to play this feel. Um, it's come into prominence lately with the tropical house style pop sound um, that we're hearing on the radio now. Um, it's in, of course, all kinds of Latin music and uh, it's, it's really just a fun beat and it has really good forward momentum. So to get started, really this beat is all about the quarter note. Um, so we know that the quarter note is the fundamental basis of rhythm, right? One, two, three, four. So the way we play this beat is we get our quarter note going. Um, so let's start playing a quarter note on the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're also going to play the kick drum at the same time. So let's get that going. Okay, that is the basis of our beat. Now, let's add an eighth note on the hi-hat. So that's gonna be one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay, great. Now, the left hand on the snare is really what makes this beat come to life. The easiest way to think of this beat, and the easiest way to count it, I think, is to think of it on a 16th note grid. And uh, 16th notes are four subdivisions per quarter note, so that is usually counted one E and a. Uh. When we play this beat, one E and a uh, two and three E and a uh, four and one E and a uh, two and three E and a uh, four and. The most basic version of this beat would be just quarter notes on the hi-hat and the bass drum and just the accents on the left hand. So that would sound like this. The left hand is falling on the ah of one and the and of two. So really to count it through a measure, one, If we add the bass drum, it sounds like this. Okay, so you can see it's really not that hard to play. It gets fun when you start to really get a little bit deeper into the feel and start adding little embellishments and details, but it's really still about that driving rhythm of the quarter note. So, Let's add the eighth note on the hi-hat. And the key to this working is that we still accent the quarter note. To do that, we need to have an accented stroke and then an unaccented stroke. So that sounds like this. So with the bass drum, Okay, and the way to do that is by throwing the stick in a downstroke, right? So whenever we want an accent, we use a downstroke on the stick and we throw it further. If we want a quieter sound, we don't throw it as far. We just move it from here, which would be the rebound position. So with the bass drum, so you can see the motion in my wrist, I'm getting that louder accented sound on the quarter note, and that's what really makes this beat pop. Okay, now on the left hand, we really want to accent the ah and the and, but we can play the e too. So if we go one e and ah, one e and ah, one e and ah two, and three e and ah four, and one e and ah two, and three e and ah four, and. 
practice getting your unaccented notes very quiet and low to the snare. So those are called ghost notes, and you've probably heard that before if you've started to look into studying drums. That pattern should sound kind of like this. One, two, three, four. Now, you can also add a drag uh, in place of the ghost note on the E. So instead of it just being a single stroke, you're gonna make it a fast double. So. so that gives it this cool little gallopy sound. You might not wanna do that on every time through, but just try it um, as a variation. So. Now I'm going to just kind of uh, play around on the beat um, and see what happens. <laughs> 